Brian. And I'm Logan. And this is Taps. I'm so annoyed at me. It's Bottoms. Duh. I'm visiting my family on the back of our. This is Tribbles. Yep. I'm a cattle. So, it's Wednesday. It's wild. I'm on a farm. And we're back to guys. Hi, team. Happy Wednesday, my ferocious firewalls. Oh, boy. <laughs> Firewall is hey. legal again, but that's a whole different story. And happy Wild Card Wednesday. That's what we're here for today. Woo. For those of you who don't know, this is a bi-weekly series that we're doing twice a month, if you couldn't figure out how bi-weekly works, where we highlight some content creators in the yu gi tubing community that we really enjoy and we think you should enjoy too. So make sure you comment below a yu gi tuber that you think we should be doing next for the next Wild Card Wednesday. Again, so that won't be next Wednesday, it'll be the next Wednesday. So comment some yu gi tubers down in the comments and we'll pick one of them. This is the second installment of the series, so if you did miss the first installment, make sure you go check it out. We'll also link it somewhere up here. Somewhere. We're in like a green screen, so we're in a corner. So it's up there somewhere. Around. We linked the part one. The whole purpose of the series is to bring the community a little bit more together because you know what? Sometimes you don't really know what kind of stuff you want to look for in the Yu-Gi-Oh community. You don't really know what to look for, but you know what? We're going to do all that looking for you and we're just going to give you the good stuff. So if you like these content creators, feel free to go subscribe to them, check out their content, and you know, feel free to yep. subscribe to us too because we're doing the we're work here. for you. <laughs> We're doing the most. <laughs> Which brings us into the next part. Obviously, if you guys are not already a subscriber, feel free to hit that subscribe button, throw this video a like, and put in the comment section down below any of the content creators that you want us to highlight on the next segment. We also have an Instagram attack, Crush Cries Why Joe. We're on there all the time if you want to interact with us a little bit more. And then we have a super wholesome Discord community. It's absolutely bopping. Feel free to go check it out. I'm in there all the time. We do remote dual tournaments. It's a great place to be if you want to make some new friends. And then last but not least, if you want to further support the channel, the shenanigans be happier, we have a Patreon. We have merch, deck building, remote dual sessions pretty much anything you could ever want with any youtuber ever it's in the patreon feel free to check it out all the side decks are also there and then some fun openings that we don't put on the channel so feel free to go check it out if not that's okay we're just happy you're here to do this fun wild card wednesday with us yay so before we get into this video real quick we just wanted to give a huge shout out to big three deals links are in the description box down below dawn of majesty has had some incredible leaks mm -hmm. you can pre-order dawn of majesty lightning overdrive we have our ghost from the past opening coming tomorrow and they are going to be restocking ghosts from the past hopefully really soon king's court and ancient guardians are also a available for pre-order. Do not miss out on these incredible prices. With the discount code CRUSHCARDS5, you get 5% off your entire purchase, and that is shipping and tax included. Literally some wow. of the best prices on the market. Wow. Anyway, let's talk about this week's Wild Card Wednesday. So for this week, we wanted to highlight a content creator that we have been following probably since the channel started. Wow. Honestly, they've been like a pioneer for at least one deck, if not two at the moment, and it is Team COG. Charles, God. my boy, we love you. I know that we're like not super close. A lot of the yu gi mm. that we actually want to feature on the channel or just have like relationships with, mm. we talk with all the time. We don't actually have a, like an open line with Charles. So Charles, if you're out there and you're watching this, hit us up, dude. We'd love to do something with you. It's really ironic that you play in Fernobyl and your name is Charles. <laughs> That's all I got. It's true. <laughs> also, Charles, feel free to let us know what the COG stands for. Is it for Charles Original Gaming? Or is it for <laughs> Crusadia Original Gaming? <laughs> I don't know what it stands for. I'm just making stuff up. But let us know! Back in the day before the 85 ban list that made Crusadia Guard Dragon one of those like <laughs> kind of hard to play Unplayable. decks. Yeah, Charles was one of those guys just absolutely pioneering the deck. Probably one of the best in the game playing the deck. So we took a lot of inspiration from it. And ever since that, like it just got both of us watching his channel. It really helps you grow as a player and just as like a deck builder to watch the content that Charles does. I know for a fact in the Discord we have at least 17 Crusadia players who literally Very are diehard fans of the deck. So Very this true. is the channel for you. I'm looking at you, Greg and Lewis specifically. This this is your channel. If you want more Crusadia help, this is for you. Post ban list, Charles is still trying to innovate the deck and make the deck super playable. He brings it to multiple different tournaments. He does multiple different tutorials on his channel. He's got test hands, combos, playthroughs, tutorials, and then just even like tournament reports on the deck. Mm -hmm. What he's done with the deck, how he's shaped it up, what he's learned from like each individual match and even just each individual game. And that's what we like to see as rogue players mm -hmm. as well. It's all very progress based, which is really nice to see because sometimes you see a deck profile or you see how something does in a tournament, but you don't really have any follow up on it. So the beauty of this channel is you get all of that along with like extra things like tutorials and kind of like mm -hmm. combos and stuff like that. Kind of like stuff we do, but more steady with like very specific niche decks. So if you're into those decks, 
definitely check out Team For CG. Sure. And as we mentioned before in episode one with Geeshawn, we really like that Charles is a rogue-centric channel. Oh, Not yeah. that we don't care about the meta or anything, but it's really nice when, you know, you like a very specific rogue deck and you can't really find content on it all the time because, you know, maybe there's a deck profile and it's like, all right, it's updated 17 years ago. Mm -hmm. But, like, the nice thing is Charles's channel really goes into those decks in depth, constantly re-innovating them and just, you know, keeping you up to date so that if you want to update your deck, you can! Wow! We really like that he's given a lot of attention to detail and just a lot of focus on decks like Infernoble and like Crusadia, even post ban lists that have hit. I mean, those are two decks that really took like gigantic yeah. hits on the ban list. Yeah. So it's really easy to give up on a deck after it's been absolutely nuked 47 <laughs> times. But you That's know true. what? There's always the diehard <laughs> players. It's like Brian with zombies, me with paleo. Like, you know, they're not the best decks, but you know what? We're still going to keep playing them. So this is the one for you, team. For everyone who still loves those decks and you want to keep working on them, 100%. Charles is here for you. So if you guys are into any of that kind of stuff, or even if you're not into like a Crusadia deck, or if you're not into like Infra Nobles or any of those other rogue decks, you still get to learn a lot by watching that progression, by watching the like the gameplay, by watching the analysis after every single match, and just like what could I have done better? What did I side correctly or incorrectly? I feel like these ratios were correct. I feel like these ratios were incorrect. Even if the decks that you are seeing on the channel are not really for you, that is an application that you can have in every single deck, and it really does just make your deck building process a lot better and just more fluid. But yeah, that's Team COG. Feel free to go subscribe to the channel, check out the content, see if it's something that you'd enjoy. You know, comment on a couple videos, let them know you're there. All the links will be in the description box down below. We highly recommend that you subscribe and support Charles, and he even has the YouTube channel membership. So mm -hmm. if you're into what he does, I think he has like really small tiers. Just a small financial pledge can help him a ton. So yeah. feel free to check that out. Everything is in the description box down below. I'm also pretty sure he does like member monthly deck profile kind yes. of thing. So I think you guys actually will have a say in the content that he makes too so if you're interested in that kind of thing and you Pretty want to sweet. see something specific you can go and do that but that's this week's episode of wild card wednesday feel free to comment the content creator you'd like us to cover next if it's a smaller channel bigger channel whoever it is let us know we just want to bring you guys some new fresh content for you guys to look into so that you don't feel stale or bored from the game and you can get in some new inspiration and stuff like that that's all this really is this is just us helping you stay inspired at a time where it's really hard to really? be inspired <laughs> really hard to be inspired with everything going oh on the boy world. but we'll be with you guys tomorrow with our go from the past opening hey. we have a whole bunch of ghosts from the past opening coming Sick. and we also have our box break next friday april 23rd at 7 p.m on stream here on youtube so if you're in the box break next friday is the time but stay tuned we're doing a whole bunch of openings between now and then but we love you you matter and i hope you guys have a super duper wednesday go firewall otk some people because you can now hey. but only with your cyber stack so <laughs> have fun addict misters bye See you. <laughs>